Welcome, potential franchise investors. Today, we're diving into item 23 of the franchise disclosure document, focusing on a crucial aspect of the franchise sales process. But before we begin, don't forget to check out our comprehensive guide to the FDD, available for free. You'll find the link in the description below. It's a valuable resource to accompany your franchise investment journey. Now, let's jump into item 23. When it comes to purchasing a franchise, adhering to federal franchise regulations is essential. And that's where item 23 of the franchise disclosure document, FDD, comes into play. Its purpose is to ensure that franchisee candidates receive proper acknowledgement and confirmation of the disclosure and delivery of the FDD. Let's explore the key details of item 23 and its significance in complying with federal franchise law. Within item 23, the franchisor is required to include two copies of a receipt page. This detachable page serves as proof that the franchisee received the FDD as required by federal franchise regulations. It's an essential document in the franchise sales process, providing transparency and protecting both the franchisor and the franchisee. The receipt page in item 23 begins with a prescribed preamble to ensure compliance with federal franchise law. It starts with the title receipt in bold letters, followed by a specific statement. This statement emphasizes the importance of reading the disclosure document and all agreements carefully. It also highlights the mandatory 14 calendar day disclosure period before signing any binding agreement or making a payment related to the franchise sale. In addition to the preamble, the franchisor must disclose the name, phone number, and business address of each franchise seller involved in offering the franchise. This can include salespeople, brokers, sub-franchisors, and others who play a role in the sales process. Remember, transparency is key, and including this information helps ensure an open and honest relationship between the franchisor and franchisee. Next, the receipt page must include a prescribed statement acknowledging the receipt of the FDD. It must state, I received a disclosure document dated, the date you received it, that included the following exhibits, followed by a list of the titles of all exhibits attached to the FDD. This ensures that the franchisee is aware of the included materials and can reference them as needed. To complete the receipt page, Space is provided for the prospective franchisee's signature and signing date. This confirms their acknowledgement of receiving the FDDs and all associated exhibits. The franchisor may also provide instructions for returning the receipt page, such as email or mailing address details, or even an electronic method via a web page. And that wraps up item 23, Receipt and Disclosures. Remember, as a potential franchise investor, understanding and complying with federal franchise regulations is crucial. Take the time to review the receipt page and ensure you have received the necessary documents. And don't forget to explore our comprehensive guide to the FDD, available for free. The link is in the description below. It's a valuable tool for your franchise investment journey. 